In this video, I wanted to show you in a situation where a turbo is not rebuildable. So the guy sent this to me because he wanted me to do machine work for the compressor housing and the turbine housing. But as you can see, the front plate is messed up and there's a gap between where the seal goes through and it's a hole like it was busted through somehow. It looks pretty clear from the way that this turbo looked when I received it that it had a broken shaft problem and that they tried to rebuild it with a new shaft, a new compressor wheel. I'm making this video mainly just for educational purposes to show what will work and what won't work. So you're supposed to put the rear seal inside the back of the bearing housing to check the gap on the rear seal, but in this case, the rear seal will slide all the way past the area where it's supposed to compress in the bearing housing. Another problem with this bearing housing is that it also has three broken bolts that broke that retain the heat shield and the heat shield is supposed to prevent the rear seal from burning up prematurely. Here's a look at what the rear seal is supposed to look like when compressed inside of the bearing housing. This is a good way to check to see if you have any excessive wear on the bearing housing. Now this gap is a lot more excessive than normal for on the power stroke. That's just the way they came from factory. Now here's a look at an HX35 bearing housing. This is the kind of gap that I'm more used to seeing. For a tutorial on how to rebuild this turbo for the 6.0 Ford Power Stroke, you can watch my video 6.0 Ford Power Stroke Duramax LLY Turbo Rebuild video. In the description box, I will link to all the parts that we use in our own rebuilds, and I'll also link to a couple different turbo options that you can just go ahead and purchase a turbo and if sometimes we do have some available that are already upgraded that are just used remanufactured units that we've rebuilt that we can sell you on hand but you'll just have to contact us about that at turbolabamerica at gmail.com